Well, it's Thursday, February 25th, 2021. Um, I'm talking to myself again on the tablet. Um, I went uh, out to the field and uh, recorded a sunrise, um, only to discover later that it was out of focus pretty much the entire time. So, but uh, I didn't just do that. I went um, over to the bridge and then I went over to the park as well. So, and those turned out, you know. But uh, it was funny though, I did. Uh, go down to one of my uh, favorite little spots to record and you know without the snow there I, I was able to you know get down there um, a lot easier I didn't have to, I could see where I was going and where the roots are and uh, I was like okay yeah just be careful and um, what I didn't factor in was uh, the moss and I knew it was gonna be slippery because I could see that it was wet um, but uh, I didn't factor in the moss, and uh, I, you know, put a foot on one of the larger roots that I'm used to putting, you know, stepping on, and um, I foot just slipped off and right in the water, dang it, in between some of the roots. So it was like, and and I had the tablet, and uh, you know, I, I don't think I I could, I don't remember if I juggled it at, at all, but I might have juggled it a little bit. But uh, not too much. I don't think I was in any uh, ever danger of dropping it. Um, but that would have been just gone. Just there. It would have sunk. And um, yeah, the water was um, turbulent and rushing and deep. And there would have been, it would just been, it wouldn't, have, the tablet would have, that would have been done. I would have still tried to get it just so it wouldn't have been in the water and uh, just one more thing of technology or trash in the water that doesn't belong there so I would have tried to get it out I might have for safety sake tried to I don't know I would it didn't happen so I don't but I would have liked I would have tried to get it you know sacrifice my own comfort and hopefully not my safety but I would have gone in after it you know, I don't think I would have gone swimming because it was, it was pretty cold. You know, so I, I did get about ankle deep, so my shoes did get pretty wet. But it, and it wasn't that bad. I stood in it for a little while. I was like, well, it's only you know, I just you know stood there for a second. It's like experiencing. It. It's like yeah, I'm standing partially in you know really really cold water for no good reason, and uh, you know about to take some video of a rushing uh, torrent just for fun and uh, and so I, I did you know I recovered I got out of the water and uh, you know found a little bit of a spot to you know you know situate myself and capture whatever images that I wanted to capture it was very loud to you know the water so I haven't even uploaded them. I just checked on them to see if they were okay. You know, as far as like video quality and sound, and they seem to be okay. So, hmm. And as far as the, you know, contact earlier this morning, no, I haven't responded back. I don't know if it requires a response. It's just a response to, you know, my own stuff from like 10 days ago, back on the 15th. And, um, so, it's like just, I could just let it just be there. And it's like, I, I kind of like, uh, I don't like, I like resolution. Um, so, because I, I feel like if I continue, it'll just be, well, it could be another 10 days or a month and it'll just be somewhere in the back of my mind that it's there and it's like 
So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. But at one point, it would have been like, oh, I need to, you know, I would have been immediately, you know, responding and inquiring and asking questions or, you know, telling stories or, you know, mentioning this or that or, you know, um, being interactive um, or, you know, trying to, you know, trying to engage and, you know, uh, give information and, you know, but uh, um, that was, that was, and now I'm not. Now I'm doing this. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. But um, after having been away um, for the initial period of time, and then coming back, and then going away again um, with no warning, um, just gone. And, and just, you know, yeah, so anyway, coming back this other time after the disappearance, even though they were there the entire time, I'm just not on any sort of personal level. Um, you know, and they come back and it just, it just sounds very, very neutral and bland and polite and, um, And that's it. So, just being nice, I guess. Very, very diplomatic. So, eh, that's all there is. But, you know, I kind of, uh, I can't afford my, I can't afford to allow myself to become emotionally invested. Um, I'm just, uh, I just can't, I'm just not able to uh, withstand um, the uncertainty um, of just, you know, people just, you know, or anybody really, uh, just disappearing without a word or explanation or just, and you know, and it doesn't seem like they are uh, as interested as what I would be interested. So there's the separation, you know, so, and they're, they were, hmm. just as I am allowed to feel, however it is I feel, other people are allowed or, you know, perfectly, you know, within the, you know, to not feel or, to, you know, to feel differently. They feel how they feel or they don't have, or they don't feel how they don't feel. It's all okay. But, you know, I just feel for myself that I'm very, very prone and already inclined to be much more excessively emotionally invested in them than than is reciprocal or on the you know um, requited so eh, I don't know how to say what I want to say but I can't emotionally afford it I don't think because it, it, I've spent too many days already just being um, emotionally incapacitated and, uh, you know, forlorn and heartsick and wondering and worrying and, you know, doing all that sort of stuff. And these aren't the right words, but they're the, they're the words that I'm attaching to. Because, you know, I don't really have, you know, it's like, and I'll just, I'll just be thinking about it for long periods of time, and not being able to do anything about it. Um, there's nothing I can do. Um, I have no contact, um, no ability to have a conversation because I, I, I'm not allowed. Um, it doesn't seem like, you know, um, and I've got it written in my notes already, and I'll write about it later. 
but um, I don't have the permission to seek an audience. Because of their availability or lack thereof, their attention is elsewhere, elsewise, elseways. So, I mean, I don't even know what that's about. But uh, I have other things that I should be probably, I, I figure, you know, working on or doing, um, being more present in my own life and uh, present in my own affairs and uh, my own workings. Um, and I think that's probably, you know, what gets attention is me just doing what it is I do on my own um, without engagement, without interaction. That's, that's the part of me that's um, interesting. And when I start to focus on um, them, that part of me kind of goes away. You know, my own individuality, I start paying attention to them, and I start, you know, so it's like my writings the past couple days, where I've just been assuming I'm by myself, and just, you know, which I am all the time, but I've been less focusing on them being a part of the audience. I've just been, like, just writing to myself. Um, I don't know. Don't ask me questions. I don't know the answers. So, I don't know. I don't know. But it, it's... I... These are very confusing questions for me. Because, you know, they're just stuff that I haven't dealt with. I don't have the experience. Um, and it's not unwelcome, it's just unknown. That's the best way I can say it. Yeah. These are, it's not an unwelcome situation, it's just an unknown situation. And I am very unpracticed and undisciplined with uh, the encounter. You know, even if it's just friendship. I don't have any, much experience with friendship. You know, like more than surface, you know. I'm used to like, you know, the casual, you know, stuff where people don't really want to know how you're doing. They just want to hear that you're doing okay and that they don't have to listen to you tell a story. Or people think that they can use you for something or, you know, get something out of you without having to do anything for themselves. You know, whereas it's the whole theory of people are trying to achieve maximum results with investing or putting in the least amount of effort. Which I'm not a big fan of. But, you know, I do it myself too. When applied and thought of and perceived from certain perspectives. Everybody is, I would say. You know, it's part of being, you know, human. You know. So, but when we're doing things selflessly for just the sake of doing them, doing them for fun or doing them for, you know, project or creative, you know, uh, creative works, um, with no um, even forethought or um, anything uh, about uh, receiving accolades or acknowledgement or recognition for what we're doing, the stuff we do on our own. Um, privately um, I guess maybe that's what maybe defines who we are better than the stuff that we well we only are going to be doing it if other people are aware of it you know it's like well if, if no one's going to know about it why bother doing it I need to get recognized I need people to thank me you know the stuff that we do that uh, with no regard for other people's even awareness of it that we're going to still do and not take credit. That's the other thing about not taking credit. Even if credit is given, trying to downplay it, or I don't know. 
I'm just making up rules now. Don't mind me. So, but I am... I am covertly thrilled that uh, contact was made. I will try not to let on too much. And I will keep my compliments to myself. No one likes compliments. I'll keep my commentary to a minimum. But maybe that's what they're doing. No, 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 no. I'm not going down that road. I can't afford it. I will get lost down that road. You know, it's like I've already gotten lost down that road a bit and I've made it back. And, uh, I mean, it's a good road. There's nothing wrong. Um, but I just don't think I'm, I think we're just not on the same, we're not at the same place in our lives. Uh, like I'm in a certain place in my life and, uh, they're wherever they are. I, I don't know where they are and wherever it is they are, I think they're okay there. And, uh, they're not ready or looking for anything. I think they like that I'm here doing... Uh, I'm not a mind reader yet. So... And I cannot remote view either. So I can only see what I'm shown. I read too much into things. It's like they sent me this, and I've read it a couple times. And I've tried to, I read more into stuff, and then I had to recognize that I was reading more into stuff than was actually, and I thought, like, no, no, they just meant it the way they said it. They didn't, there was no subtext in there. It's like, See, even just in the space of uh, just this past like 18 minutes, I've talked myself out of and into and out of. And, and it's like, I, I still don't think I'm going to write um, directly. You know, it's like, I'm probably just, I'm gonna, um, I've got the oven warming up. I'm going to make some, you know, food for lunch. And then I'll probably take a nap. Um, and then I've got a seven o'clock meeting to secretary. And then uh, work in the morning. At some point, I might. <sighs> I don't even know how to acknowledge them. I guess I'll, I'll figure it out. I mean, this is acknowledgement, but they don't eat, they don't know about this. Well, they know about it, but they, they they don't like the video part of it or the audio. So they like the writing, you know. But the writing takes time, and if I'm not in a place where I can do like I'm. I can't just write on demand like how I write. It comes it comes at a price. And it's like I have to kind of be in the right mindset. Usually it's a lot of times it's right, you know, in the closing hours, you know, uh, at night or right after waking. You know, so in the middle of the day, it's, it's tough to get there. Sometimes. I don't know. It's... Whereas this isn't just me talking. It's much more clumsy. Very, very clumsy. 
So it's like, don't even hold me to a lot of stuff that I say. I mean, it's, it's true to the moment, but it's a very lazy way of thinking. For me. It's lazier. Because I'm not having a chance to, you know, proofread my thoughts. I'm just saying them as they occur. So... I am, I like that phrase, covertly thrilled. But her writing was... very, very neutral. Supportive. Curious. A little bit. but neutral and apologetic I don't like the apologetic part it's like yes yes you know. I don't like the apologetic part just like I'm not making suggestions but it's like I prefer when people just you know do what they do and just own it people can deal with it or they don't or you know, it's like, this is, this is, if she's doing what she needs to do for her own sanity and well-being, what does she have to apologize for? Who, is it, that's it. I don't, I, at this time, right now, I can't. I can't think of anything that needs apology. Um, being true to yourself needs an apology. Or, I mean, maybe I understand because I feel like I have to do it myself um, to people that don't understand um, how it is I am. But even then, I've got, maybe it's just also I've had more practice with it. Just, you know, I am a just a few years older, so I've had more time to uh, get used to myself, even when I didn't even know about uh, being autistic. You know, I was still getting used to myself. So, I don't know, but uh, So, I'll think of something I always do. I'll write something I always do. And I hope she's not waiting for me. I don't think she's waiting for me. Um, you know, like, I tend to wait. But maybe less so now. You know, I've learned, you know, it's like... Anyway. I'm not going to get anything accomplished sitting here right now, so I should go and get get on with the business of life and uh, eat some food, take a nap, try to help some people find uh, whatever sobriety or recovery that they, they're looking for. Not everybody's actually looking for it. They're just trying to appear like they're looking for it to make other people feel better, you know, as far as like paperwork for court or a lawyer or a family member or... a lot of people are not really interested in they're just they just want to get they want to look good they want to they don't want to be good so they will get exactly what they're looking for and they will achieve whatever it is um, they're seeking to achieve. And it's just some things come with consequences that people do not want to afford. But they're willing to pay the cost. So, you yeah. mm. Okay, yeah. That's a whole different thing and I don't have time for. So, I've got videos to upload too. You know,
Anyway, I should go. I am very glad that they are a part of my life. That it hurts a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Yeah, what a mess. Anyway, I should go.